Veronica reviewed your case and agrees with me. It's not a good idea for you to take the stand. How is telling the truth not a good idea? Because you don't have anyone to back up your story. I told you, Cyrus Petrillo asked me to meet him at the time of the murder. He set me up. You also told the police he kidnapped you. And if you admit that lie, no jury will believe anything else you say. There's someone else that can testify that I was set up. Who? Does this person know for a fact where you were at the time of the murder? No, but he... Well, then, no matter how compelling their testimony is, they won't be able to corroborate your story. So what? I'm just supposed to sit here and pray that you can poke holes in the prosecution's theory? There is another option. The DA is offering a plea bargain. What does that mean? It means that if you plead guilty and you take responsibility for your actions... Wait, they want me to admit to killing Mona? Yes. And they want you to name the person that helped you do it. Well, that's insane. If you do both, they'll give you 15 years. You could be out in 10 with good behavior. That's never going to happen. Allison, this is a big decision. You need to talk it over with your father. There's nothing to talk about because I did not kill Mona. I'm not advocating you take this. I just need you to understand that the evidence against you is substantial. If we go to trial, the chances of you getting acquitted are not good. And if you're found guilty, the prosecution will be seeking life without parole. The police are already building a case against the person they believe helped you. Who's that? Hannah Marin. Got a secret, can you keep it? Swear this one you'll save. Better lock it in your pocket, taking this one to the grave. In the show you that I know you won't tell.